and order of service for noonday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 98 O sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gotten him victory. The Lord has made known his victory. He has revealed his vindication in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with a lyre, with a lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who live in it. Let the floods clap their hands, let the hills sing together for joy, the presence of the Lord, for he is coming to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from John in the twelfth chapter. Now is the judgment of this world. Now the ruler of this world will be driven out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to indicate the kind of death he was to die. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? And Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today is Holy Cross Day. The historian Eusebius in his Life of Constantine tells how the emperor ordered the erection of a complex of buildings in Jerusalem, quote, on a scale of imperial magnificence to set forth as an object of attraction and veneration to all the blessed place of our Savior's resurrection, unquote. The overall supervision of the work on the site where the Church of the Holy Sepulchre now stands was entrusted to Constantine's mother, the Empress Helena. In Jesus' time, the hill of Calvary had stood outside the city, but when the Roman city which succeeded Jerusalem was built, the hill was buried under tons of fill. It was during the excavations directed by Helena that a relic believed to be that of the true cross was discovered. Constantine's shrine included two principal buildings, a large basilica used for the liturgy of the word and a circular church known as the Resurrection. Its altar placed on the site of the tomb, which was used for the liturgy of the table and for the singing of the daily office. Toward one side of the courtyard, which separated the two buildings and through which the faithful had to pass on their way from word to sacrament, the exposed top of Calvary's hill was visible. It was there that the solemn veneration of the cross took place on Good Friday, and it was there that the congregation gathered daily for a final prayer and dismissal after Vespers. The dedication of the buildings was completed on September 14, 335, the seventh month of the Roman calendar, a date suggested by the account of the dedication of Solomon's temple in the same city in the seventh month of the Jewish calendar hundreds of years before. 
Reference 2 Chronicles 7, 8 through 10. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross that he might draw the whole world to himself, mercifully grant that we, who glory in the mystery of our redemption, may have grace to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. And God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered alone on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.